so guys merge two linked lists so we have these two linked lists here let's say one two three and one three maybe five or something like that so we have this l1 and then we have l2 so they are sorted but then you have to merge them you have to merge these two and come up with another linked list and that might look something like this we have one one and then two and then three and three and five that's it right okay and this i can call m1 merged one so if this is sorted and the requirement is that it should be sorted even after merging that so now it is a complex stuff because if it was just simply adding these two meaning just putting this guy behind this or something like that then it's like we have added these two linked lists but this is not adding the linked list this is like merging two different linked list so let's quickly see how we will do that so the intuition behind this is really very clear that we will use another variable let's say a uh, head variable and that would be like the new merged linked list so how we'll start we will start like this as this is l1 and this is l2 we have to check i mean before starting the loop and all that before actually going further you have to take the decision like how you are going to start i mean the very first node of these two linked list will help you to take the decision like so let's say this is not one this is two so if this is two then we know that the very first node is going to be this guy correct so we have to pick the first node and then we can start looping and merging so we will simply check l1 data and l2 data whichever is the smallest one will assign head to that so we'll say head here so i will keep writing here only okay this is done and let's say this is one only okay for simplicity i just said two but this is one so once and yeah if both are equal then you can do any i mean you can do any initialization that doesn't matter but remember this if you have initialized this guy to head then l1 will increment i mean l1 will get incremented to another node so we are done we know that which one is head because actually this is what you have to return when you are returning you have to return either this node or this node because it is sorted so either this will start the linked list or this will be starting the linked list okay so this initialization is just for that once you have done this much how much you have decided this one is going to be the first node or this one if this is the node then you will initialize this node to head and say that this is your current node and l1 will get incremented now understand this now you have these two and these three to merge this is already merged okay so you have one thing in your hand let's say uh, this is c so this is what the current status is this you just think like you will return that so you had to keep this first node and after that this is how we'll go so now while loop will start saying that l1 and l2 are there then just compare l1 and l2 if l1 is less than l2 then c is next i mean current's next is going to be l1 i mean the smaller will become the next node of current right it is really very easy intuitive so in this case it is one because this is one i told you right this is one so we compared l1 with l2 and one is the smaller one so we said current next is equal to l2 and then we will increment l2 l2 will come here and then current will get incremented current will be current's next and similarly now l1 i mean l1 you did not increment it so now you will compare this one with this one now it will say okay l1 is less than l2 so this current's next will become l2 what is l2 two sorry l1 and then l1 will get incremented now you will compare these two which one is smaller actually both are equal then you can choose to get anything let's say you are picking this guy and then l1 is going to get null here because l1 will go further right and in the end you will have null now this loop will break and you have these four elements only in the list these two are remaining so remaining cases so let's say you have this while loop and then you have to say remaining cases will come here what is the remaining case it's just that see your current would have reached here by then now you have to say whatever is left over i don't know 
maybe in this loop i don't know l1 was null i mean l1 became null or l2 became null if l1 became null then just blindly put l2 as the next of current if this is not the case if l2 became null then just simply put l1 as the next of current so then in that case it's just mapping and then you have the whole linked list merged and just simply return this head that's it let's look at the code now so code is also very simple we have list 1 list 2 as the input we will check because anyone can be empty also so if l1 is found to be empty then we will return l2 because l1 is empty so whatever merged linked list would be that is going to be l2 if l2 is not null it is good if it is null then also doesn't matter because both are null so we don't care and similarly if l2 is null then same case we will return l1 in that case and if these cases are not true then here we will decide who is going to be head i told you right you have to return head in the end so this is the job of the head you will just decide which one is i mean which link list first node is going to get returned so if l1's value is greater than l2's value then we will say l2 is smaller just make that one as head otherwise l1 is going to be head and after initializing l2 in this case we will increment l2 by next otherwise if it is l1 then we will increment l1 by next remember we mark this one as head and after that we had incremented this l1 so l1 was pointing at this node and then it will have to point this guy so same thing is happening here and then i am saying that okay i will take the help of current and then do the looping so see until unless l1 and l2 are null i'll just keep on checking this if l1's value is smaller then that l1 is going to go into the currents next and then we will increment l1 if that is not the case then obviously l2 will go into the currents next and then we will increment l2 and once we initialize either of these two we will increment current also so that next time we will put new node in the next of current so once this loop is totally done what we are left with is that it is possible one list is totally empty and another list is still there so we'll just simply append that and where we'll append in the currents next so currents next will hold list 1 i mean list 1 if list 1 is present then we'll do i mean we'll initialize list 1 in that case otherwise list 2 and we'll return head simple right do one thing write this program and compare this program if it is equal to my program so it will be a good practice for you guys so till next video thanks for watching guys bye bye take care